okay so what exactly we're trying is like uh, so we, i just created an account in uh, amazon aws free tier and i mm-hmm. i i launched a ubuntu instance and uh, then i installed a docker uh, so then i pulled the image uh, which is a combination of iib and mq uh, so yeah then actually i was able to i mean we are able to run it and we can able to see the container and even we are able to uh, see see the runtime view of the iib and uh, and generally when we run this command queue manager also is getting created and when we uh, see the commands like display mq we are able to see that queue manager is running so everything is fine so now only thing that we are trying to do is like uh, to actually uh, connect it to the queue manager uh, from my rfetch util c so uh, basically when when we are giving the uh, the channel name i mean in the queue manager of the rfetch util c the queue manager and port number everything when we are giving it saying like uh, queue manager is connected uh, but uh, uh, i mean parallelly what we have done is like uh, in the instance that we have created using run mqc commands uh, we have created a sample queue like test so whenever we are trying to browse that particular test queue mm-hmm. from the rfetch and you can see we are getting like uh, access uh, denied like or else not authorized kind of thing so that's what queue manager is connected Uh, but uh, unable to access the queue so i think it so as you said like uh, like it might be because of yes show yes. me that uh, maybe taran you can show that yeah uh, maybe he he is just actually okay. uh, running the i mean activating the container just give him a time so no i see it is connected all right uh connected to queue manager qm1 and try connecting to uh, some queue it says uh, not authorized, authorized. authorized. Yeah. all right what you have to do is there is a command called set uh, auth execute that and give your user access to that queue so before we execute that command you can execute you can uh, move into var mqm Okay. Uh, should I have to do it in a um, in the Docker container, or I mean, should I run that command in the container, or like yeah. out of in the, in the VM? You have to run in it in the, in the container. So you have to. Container. Up, okay. Yes, you have to execute uh, Docker hyphen ti exec uh, iib bash so that you will get a terminal into okay. that iib container. I use the name of the iib whatever it is here what's the name i see iibm com hmm uh, i'm actually uh, having issue with my um uh, keyboard here mm mm-hmm. mhm yeah that's the container id good bash sorry sorry uh yeah so that's the container id and then you yes. have given the bash oh, so yeah. thank you dsp mq yeah dsp mq qm1 will be your uh, q manager name now cd into var mqm cd var do ls command ls hyphen n cd into qmgr qmgr is right yes okay now ls again c cd into qm1 ls again cd into rs ir ors ls again <laughs> execute ls hyphen l please uh, sorry couldn't get you ls space ls, LS. LS. 
space i find i, I, I want to see the date now we see that uh, the file was modified at 536 let's do a tail space hyphen 50f the first file tail minus 50f the first Very file good. you mean to say yeah first file the first file yes so the error states Mm, entity iib mq user has insufficient authority to access the object test so you'll have to grant access to this user you are connecting with iib user so to grant access you'll have to use set mq auth you can do a control c and exit from tail okay set mq small it is okay it's a uh, executable it's not the windows set so do no spaces mq a u t space no no h space hyphen m hyphen m space q m1 m1 hyphen t hyphen T as in uh, Toyota. Okay, thank you. Q M G R small letters. G R. Hyphen P. Hyphen P. Space M uh, I I B U S C R M Q U S C R the username I I B M Q U S C R. and then mm, oh sorry you already have access to connect to the queue manager so we don't have to give a uh, queue manager access we only have to give a uh, queue access so for that uh, delete everything up to hyphen t yeah Delete hyphen T and replace it with hyphen N, and then the Q manager name. Sorry, the Q name that is T E S T. Hyphen T, small T, and then type Q. Q U E W E, Q U E W E, hyphen P. MQM inquire uh, so that would be space plus I N Q I M Q N Q news inquire I N Q I N Q index A nation and a queue. Is uh, less. So we're giving taxes to inquire, to put, and display. E U T plus P T. Sorry, uh, uh, can you come again? So it's plus put plus put space plus dsp inquire put and display. What and if you need more access, dsp. Yes. Put. You have written it as put, isn't it? So, so let me try and type those uh, values for you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm connecting with from my mobile. So let's see. P U T. Yeah, I think it's P U T. Yeah. Yeah. P U 
T and DSP. So I've typed those uh, values in here. Okay. Screen and you can also type GET. get. So we're giving it access to put, to display, to inquire, and get. It's fine now, right? Hmm. Okay. I can't see your screen. Hold on. Uh, actually, I'm able to see. Yeah, it's uh, plus inquire, plus put, plus DSP, and plus get. Yeah, I'm able to see that. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Actually, I think it is taking time to load. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, can you execute this now? Okay, fine. Successfully executed. Now we will do and run MQC command. Paste QM1. Now we can execute uh, display. Q local. You can display a uh, channel auth. Channel. Okay. PIS, PLAY, display channel auth. And I don't remember the exact command now. So uh, try connecting with uh, the RFH util now. Disconnect from the queue manager and then connect again. You can disconnect. Right. You can now connect again. And if it does not connect, uh, if it does not, you're not able to open, then we'll refresh the security for this and then try again. What's that a command called? Refresh security token. We'll have to execute that. And you can execute uh, display channel auth run MQ check. When you execute this command, you will see why your uh, access is being blocked. So is it because of uh, address mapping or is it because of user mapping? So currently we saw that your user is IIB MQUS here. So using that. Oh, I don't remember the exact command. We'll have to go through uh, the documentation. So it is run MQ check. That's the display channel auth run MQ check. That's the one command. And then what you have to execute is refresh security to display you can type display channel auth. No, no, in Google, I don't remember the command line by line. Uh, Taran, you can Google itself for like a display channel auth. I mean, okay. In Google itself. Maybe you can make a display channel on. Yes. Yes. So here you have an argument called. Uh, Run MQ check. Which you can use to find out if your I address, IP address, and your Q uh, your username has access. See that match. Do you see that uh, type all and match is equal to run check? So you can use that command to see why. Uh, you're not getting any that uh, access to the queue. There would be an example somewhere below. No, it's not. Mm. So execute this command and then execute uh, refresh security token. Search for that in uh, Google. Oh, here's that check. The address and the client user has been given to you.
why have you chosen to use an ec2 instance for iib any specific reason for that uh, no no actually i was initially he just uh, exploring amazon web services um mm -hmm. so then i came to know the street tire and then i launched the instance then actually i was parallelly checking some videos on docker so, oh, so like there are some videos where they have launched uh, i mean where they ran i mean run now docker from the image on ws instance so that's why i just did so since i uh, like opened uh, an instance and launched uh, i mean docker in that so i just sort of using same even to do the same i mean do the uh, small okay. videos yeah i think Not right. and uh, solution would be that if you are using doing uh, for dockers and containers and uh, cloud then try exploring ace version 1108 fix pack 8 and above because it gives you uh, a single integration server executable where you don't need a manager so manager would be bip broker executable without a manager you can run your containers and you can run your single process and it is much easier for the cloud and run uh, okay so which okay. ip so address can, what uh, is that can you just say it so it's a version 11 called ace apt connect app connect enterprise oh okay. you get a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay okay you are talking about okay ip exactly i got it I got it yeah actually we are currently working on es only so i thought you said uh, the version of docker or something so i got it uh, yeah 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 I, i mean yeah we can create like a stand alone uh, integration servers and all with es 11 right so yeah i think uh, we will try that yeah. yeah that's much better for the cloud okay so what uh, which I, which ip address uh, do i need to mention here I mean, is it of my pc or is it like no we just put a star there it does not matter okay so we haven't typed the channel name sorry uh, the user name in the match you have to type the user name copy the commands from that uh, yeah stack overflow paste it here convert that into a single line command the cln user match has to be run mq check and cln user has to be iib mq user oh okay fine Thank <laughs> you. 
I will try it. Let's try this. We'll get to know what rule is blocking our access. There are multiple channel rules. So what is it saying now? We'll convert that into a single line. You have missed a C, the letter C for channel CLN user, the client side user. Match run check, it's running, wait for it. Match has found a generic value in address. Take away the address portion of it and then uh, execute the command again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's execute the refresh security token and maybe you can even provide an address of your IP of your laptop. What is the so I don't section? remember, uh, it's security token. So search in Google, what's the actual uh, syntax is? Search for security token. Fresh. MQ. Yes. So here, uh, what we'll have to execute is uh, refresh security and the type would be something related to, it's not queue, it's not process, it's not topic, scroll down. It would be something related to the channel. Right, scroll down. So nothing here. So uh, execute command called refresh security and a star. You can see that in the top of the page. Copy from there and execute that. Refresh security star. Do you see that? Scroll down. Somewhere over here. Yes. All right. Now uh, type the address as uh, your local IP or just some IP uh, such as uh, 192.168.0.1. This is just a check. So type some IP there to see if the IP is blocking the user or if it's the, uh, the username which is blocking us. 168.0.1. So what does it say? It says the channel auth address is available as star and it's given as a, a 
address is star. All addresses are valid for this. And the user or C is channel. Display channel authentication details currently disabled. I will disable channel auth. I have executed the alter channel auth command and yeah, yeah, actually, actually exactly. So yesterday when we are trying, right? Maybe we thought that is actually maybe because of some authentication error, it's not following. So we did an alter uh, channel authentication and we disabled it. Maybe we can enable it if now. Okay, try with RFH util now after we have uh, refreshed the cache. Let's see if it works. If it does not, then we will disconnect from the queue manager and then connect again. If it does not work, then we'll enable the channel auth. It's not working. No. All right, uh, I have to uh, drop off now. I'll uh, oh, see okay. if I can get the exact command and I'll uh, prepare a sample for you using Docker. And if possible, I'll upload the video in a day or two. You can refer that. Sure, sure. Yeah, maybe if you upload a video, you just share us the link. Maybe you can mail me, so I will also just go through it. Yeah, okay. we will also try to explore. Yeah. Okay then. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the time. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Vishnu. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thanks.